Hello everyone, welcome back to Valley of the Mist Block of the Month. I'm Adrienne Ritter. And I'm Shelly McNeely. And this is our May 2024 Block of the Month. So, um, this block that we're going to be doing this month is the first of the four blocks that we're going to do that are composed of half square triangles. This block is called Mosaic Number 10. And it's funny because we're doing in this set of blocks, not to tell you which ones we're doing, but <laughs> there are a few that are created by this same group, which was the Ladies Art Company. And that company, you may not know it by that name, but if you've been quilting for any time, you're, you're probably familiar with them because a lot of, they were like the earliest company that was creating these patterns and putting them out in the 1800s. And Kansas City Star and other companies used their patterns to make, to, yeah. to publish in their, in their newspapers and journals and stuff to produce quilts. So this is a, this is a long, time block here in the United States. Yes. And mosaic number 10 is its name. There, there's no <laughs> other name. And, and, and that mosaic number 10 is for this look. We, we changed it just a little bit. Right. The, the only thing we changed, and I should say Shelly changed, because this was one of her assignments this year, <laughs> was we have we have this in the original block is one color. It's all the same. Right. But so so as we talk about the fabrics you need, keep that in mind. It's kind of supposed to look like right. one color. It's supposed to be a square and a square with two colors, an inner and an outer color. Yeah, other than yeah. the white. OK. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's go on to what fabrics do we need this month? OK, well, we should mention that our focus fabric for this year, for all the blocks you turn in each month for the Guild, is Yalka designed by June Smith for M&S Textiles. So that's only, you can use and she's that. Got, she's not showing it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's right here. Um, and we will be selling these fat quarters at the meeting if you need these. So if you're not making them for the Guild, then, then we just recommend you pick a Focus Fabric and use it all year for right. all 12 of the blocks for this year. Okay, so for this block, the focus fabric just need one four inch square. And for a white, you're gonna need six four inch squares. And then you're gonna need a light coordinating and you'll need eight four inch squares. And for the dark coordinating, you're gonna need one four inch square. Okay. Okay. So because they're all four inch squares, that makes it easy. And, and that kind of gives you a hint that this is a 16 patch block, kind of almost considered um, four four patches, but right, right. But um, we did. I, I I should say we're remiss in, in saying we did make another change to this block from the original um, ladies art company block. These parts here, they did more like turn corners, um, and and they didn't do it as two half square triangles, right. but it was the same look. Right. So. Just to make it easy, we've done it all in half square triangles. So we broke this, these side pieces into two blocks. Okay, so the first step for this block is you're gonna, you'll notice that there's eight of one of the colors and that's your light coordinating. So that's kind of a clue that you're gonna pair one of those blocks with each of the others. So you'll have eight pairs of, of um, blocks, which is like this one is a light and a white. And, um, and, and so you're gonna take and pair them all up. And then you're gonna proceed to make half square triangles with all of those pairs. Now, I don't know if Shelly has this problem, but I will caution you, double check that you have them right sides together. I yes. mean, it, it seems <laughs> obvious, but a lot of times when you're cutting you know, a lot of blocks, your your fabric's folded and they're and they're facing each other, and so and you go to put them together. It's very easy for me, and I guess for Shelly oh, too, yeah. Especially to the have, whites. to have yeah. them facing the wrong way. <laughs> yes. So double check that, and then we wanted to go over 
um, just real quickly uh, half square triangles. So, you know, if you look on the internet, there's a lot of methods for making half square triangles. And, and if I am making a quilt that ha encompasses a lot of half square triangles, I will admit I do like to use half square triangle papers on a roll. And if you, and, and, but these are, these are good for if you have a lot of the same two fabrics. Cause and with the same the, size. Yeah, yeah. But what these do, they allow you to cut um, a bigger piece of fabric and, and you go along the roll, like this roll, this is for two inch half square triangles and one little chunk of it makes, well, you normally do four at least, but you can do two at a time with this. And, um, and, and these ones, which are for the, um, this is for three and a half inch or three inch, and you can cut even bigger pieces of fabric. And you just, it, you just have to read the instructions. You put down, you layer a bigger piece of fabric together based on the size of the, of the triangles you're doing. And you lay the paper on it and it has, it tells you how to like sew and you just kind of sew a long line and you kind of do a zigzag back and forth and you have to hit all the lines and then when you're done you just cut it apart and you've got you know 20 half square triangles and they're really easy to use and very accurate that's the nice thing these are not oversized when you trim them afterwards because you'll trim along the edges too you know they're they're sized you know there, there's no extra trimming which we will have today but for this block, we, we're only doing, we're doing one, one with the focus fabric, one with your dark, and then the rest with the white and, and, and light. And so it's, it's not as, um, it's not as uh, maybe for the white and light, you could yeah. do it that way, but it's just a little more complicated. So mm -hmm. we're just doing them separately. So that said, there's, uh, there's Shelly and I do our half square triangles differently now what I do I have uh, number one uh, as quilters we use our quarter inch foot a lot because quarter inch is kind of the measurement we live by and but on half square triangles the way you sew them the quarter inch foot you, you the one with the the guard that comes down you can't use that easily you can use it it just goes over top of the fabric and so some people don't like that so I would recommend that a regular foot on your machine you become super comfortable with where on that foot you can guide a quarter inch a quarter inch away from the needle and so for half square triangles, the best thing is if you have a center needle position, mm -hmm. not off to one side, because then you can go on either side of it. And, and on this foot, which this is a, a dual feed foot, but I have, a, I have a regular foot that would look like it normal with a shank. I just don't have the shank part here. Um, I know that just inside this, white, this clear part, that's a quarter inch from my center needle. And, and you're gonna find that that sewing machine companies, if you bought a sewing machine at all recently, a lot of their feet kind of are geared to the quarter inch. Mm -hmm. Now you can get this without, with, with that center part missing, but um, a lot of times it's nice to have that extra pressure of that across the fabric. So, so having an open toe can be nice, but it, it really doesn't help you maybe keep Mm -hmm. things so precise and the reason why I use that is that I just mark a center diagonal down each of my pairs and and if you press the pairs together they're kind of it kind of does a temporary gluing but but you know if you're not crazy with them you, you don't have to pin them together but a lot of people do like to pin the, the pieces together or you can use a clip like this. So, so you find a way to, you know, mark the center and then I use, like I said, my foot and I just sew a quarter inch from each side and I do them in a row and I go and I'm just alternating. And if you, if you do it right, you can, you can nest the next one. You know, if you go on right. either side of the needle, 
you know, you can get it in there nested and, and just keep going in a chain. And, and sew them all together and, and you know, you end up with, this is probably hard to see, that white thread on the blue, but it's, it's just sewn on either side of that center. Shelly has another method. Oh, and the other, the reason why I like this is you can see how, I usually just mark it with a pencil, but you could bold it, mark it with a very bold line because you're cutting that. That's, that's not mm -hmm. gonna show this mm -hmm. line, okay? So um, you don't really have to worry about that. Okay, I like to draw the sew line. <laughs> so there's a couple ways to do that because you wanna sew a quarter, like she said, a quarter inch away from where the, you know, on either side of the diagonal here. There's this ruler that they make that's designed for marking on either side. You, you lay the center line on the... There's actually even a tip to put against... Yes. Yeah, if you want to, you know, yeah. so you can line it up. You line exactly. it up and then you draw on either side. I, and, and so then you don't yeah. care of your foot. You just need... To, that needle is just going to go right on that yeah. line. If you don't have that, you can just use a ruler because they mark a quarter inch on there. I just put where the quarter inch mark is on the tips and then mark on either side of that. Turn yeah. it around, mark it on that side. Yeah, so you don't need a specialty ruler. You, you can just use anything. And then then so I just sew on those lines. Okay. So we're gonna we're not gonna cut yet. We're just gonna other than cutting out your your pieces. Um and we're gonna come back and we will have our our half square triangle pieces ready to be cut and trimmed. Okay? Right. So um, we have all of our blocks, all of our half square triangles sewn on either side of the diagonal line, right. of the diagonal, whether it was a line or not. Um, <laughs> That's <Charlie's> true. <laughs> <clears throat> so then the next step that you need to do is you're gonna take a ruler that's long enough to go from diagonal to diagonal, and you are going to cut on that diagonal line. But I say that with a caveat, that you actually look at what you sewed. And, and if it looks generally evenly sewn on, on the so either side of that diagonal, then cut away. If, if you um, veered a little at any point, you might have to, you might have to have to have to look at that because you don't want to cut it away and then realize, oh, I don't have a seam there. I mean, worst case, if you did, if you cut on that diagonal and your seam was, you know, very skimpy, skimpier than you're comfortable with, and I, I would say that'd have to be less than an eighth of an inch mm -hmm, for me, mm -hmm. then you can always just use that now as your edge and, and re sew right. a quarter inch seam. Right. So not all as long is as not you haven't gotten too off, right? To make it too small is all. Oh, if you've gotten way too big, I'm talking. That's true. It, uh, yeah, that's oh, only, right. that only if you got too big. Right. Um, <clears throat> and these are oversized a little bit, so you even ha have a little bit of leeway there. Right. You know, there's in our sewing world. <laughs> <laughs> there's usually there's usually answers. It had to be way off. Yeah. Because because you could always sew with a skimpy seam. That's true. You know. Yeah. Not that we're advocating that. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're going to cut on that diagonal line and then you're going to end up, voila, with two half square triangles of the same colors. And, um, and then at, at this point, you'd go, Shelly and Adrian, how do I press that? <laughs> now, if, if we were to look at the back of Shelly's block there, you would see a variety of pressings. Yes. Because she, first of all, did, in, in normal half square triangles, you, a lot of times you press to the dark. And so she did that. And then when she was putting them together, they weren't nesting right. Because we are not, the way we are arranging them, it's kind of all over the place. But it's still up to you. If it, you it is, it if is. If you're happy doing it that way, do it that way. Right. Yeah. But, but we ended up pressing all of our seams open. Okay. So, so, um... That's what we would like to recommend that you do is press your seams open. And here's a block, she can show the back, it's pressed open. Yes. And so now she needs to trim it down to, because like I said, they're a little bit big. Um, probably have it this way. So, so to trim it, what you do 
this one's not pressed but she's got one that's pressed but not trimmed you're going to take a ruler and you're going to very carefully put the, the the diagonal the 45 degree line down the center make sure I, of course I have this ruler upside down <laughs> yeah I have to think how do I lay this out looking at this upside down <laughs> so you want to make sure okay let me let me back up a little bit this block like I said before it has 16 squares and our finished blocks are 12 inches so 12 inches square so 16 divided so they're four by four grid to get 16. So you take 12 divided by four and that's three inches. So for a three inch finished part of the block, it means it needs to be three and a half. So, mm -hmm. so we just know that if it's a nine, if it's a, if it's a th three by three, a nine, a nine patch, they need to be four and a half. Mm -hmm. And if it's a four by four like this, they need to be three, three and, and a half. half. Right. So, so it, it's just a simple math thing that, that we know and because we make nine, 12 inch blocks all the time. Yeah. So we know 12 inch. So you want to look at your ruler, make sure that it's over three and a half inches. If it isn't, press harder. <laughs> or no, you're going to have to, if it's just a tiny bit off, you can accommodate that in a seam, but maybe mark the block so you know it. And it probably is going to mean that the other block that you sewed might be bigger. Um, but anyway. yeah, hopefully you got more than three and a half inches here. Yeah, because we, we you it really should, should you really should have at least a quarter inch bigger, an eighth of an inch, an bigger. Eighth, of an eighth, an inch. eighth inch bigger. Yeah. So so you've got this lined up on the center line, and which is very important. Yes, very important. And then you're going to trim two edges mm -hmm. and you can slide it down if you're good at looking at your markings and the sizing and and then do the other two or you turn the block yeah I turn the block yeah that's how I do it yeah and so, so a lot of times you only need to do if you are good at sewing which sometimes I am I only need to trim two sides but well, you, you gotta take you off have, the, the little corners then you have to do the little corners but you don't have to trim yeah those you sides. can do with the scissors yeah okay but uh, but you know um, I actually like to do a little bit extra because it's easier for me to pick up a little strip than the little tiny corners mm -hmm. so it is however you want to do it but you're gonna trim both sides and we're gonna go down to three and a half inches so we're gonna go and get all of these cut and trimmed and pressed and come back with our 16 pieces that make up this block so we've done our half square triangles this that is was, the hard part that, we're done the hard part's done yeah now you just need to have an accurate quarter inch seam so um if you're looking ahead and you haven't trimmed you know and you're not very good with your quarter inch seam then maybe make sure when you're trimming it that your line is on the block don't don't trim skimpy don't you know right. trim them a good three and a half inch not extra if you sew a quarter inch seam but but the, 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 but now at this point once they're trimmed you're committed to being good with your seams right right i mean yeah yeah you do you do okay so so just know know yourself know your how good you are with yeah. your quarter but inch but i yeah okay every time i sewed pieces together i measured i know but that's after but i mean i'm saying yeah. now if you already know that you're not yeah. very good with accuracy yeah because then that's the next part okay. is, is measuring that's true right okay so 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 we need to now lay out the block the way it looks in the finished block now shelly just kind of wings it but I'll tell you, it's actually kind of easy to lay out for me if I start at the center. Because at the center, you take four light corners and they touch each other. These, these four. You have, you have a center block of four light. It's the ones that are, don't have white. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, and those are the ones. It's either your dark or your focus. And then the next four easy ones to put on are the corners because your light fabric faces out. Now, these ones can be only tricky because you can get them turned around yes but they make a they make a triangle um 
with like a flippy corner in. And so it kind of looks like you've nestled each of these squares in a square, you know, around, with white around each corner. Mm -hmm. That's how you can think about it. So what we want you to do is lay those pieces on, lay them out so they look like the finished block. And we want you to sew rows, four rows across of those, and, and then we will come back. Okay, so. And I would say, after you've done each row, measure it, see if it's 12 and a half inches. It needs to be 12 and a half inches across. If not, your seams are too big or too small, one or the other. And just that if you need to. Then, that way, you don't have to say, oh, at the end, it's really wrong. Right. Um, and, and on the pressing, um, I would sew the rows completely and then then lay them back on, lay them back how you're going to arrange them for the final and, and alternate rows. Press them one way or the other or you can press them open. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, at this point I took these ones and I pressed them one way and then the other. Yeah, I can't remember. And That's then, what? and they do start getting to be lumpy seams. This is the only time you can press to one side because the next pressings you're just going to be pressing open. Mm -hmm. So either press them open or lay them and alternate the direction that they go. Okay. All right. We are almost done. I know. <laughs> okay. And it's and it's May. Is this May? Fuck. Who would have thought? Okay. I know. All right. So we have our four rows. What do you think we do next? I would think we should sew those together. I think that would be a good idea. <laughs> and, and now that you've come this far with your good quarter inch seam, don't goof it up now. Yeah. 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 Okay. It, it helps now because you can match up, you know, different years. Yes. If, if you did what, if you press them open, which is fine, just match your seams. If you press them to a side, to alternating sides, then they should nest and you should be good either way. Right? Right. Yeah. And at this point, we're going to finally so, press. Yeah, we're going to, yeah, on the final press, press the seams open. Otherwise, there's there's a lot of corners coming together there. Yeah. It, it yeah. would be a little, a bit lumpy. Yeah. Or, or do Shelly's swirly thing. Yeah, if it works. If it it works. doesn't always yeah. work. Yeah. So I don't always do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we call it the swirly thing. And I, I know there's <laughs> I, another term for there it. There must be. It. Okay. Quilt in the day thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, um, all right. So we're going to come back with our finished blocks, and they darn well better be 12 and a half inch square, <laughs> or or at least 12 and a half inch square. Really, on this one, you really need to be 12 and a half inch square because yeah. there's a lot of intersecting corners with. And you want to you know, save your points. You save so. your points. All right. All right. So we're back with our finished blocks. They look good. Uh, mine is a little bit big in like some areas that I can just trim right. Right. Uh, it won't, I won't lose any point. And Shelly's kind of the same maybe thing. Maybe a sixteenth of an inch, maybe, but it's pretty yeah. dang close. Yeah. Okay, so then these blocks are due if you're turning them in at the Guild for the drawing in, at the June meeting. But I did want to point out um, one little thing just to look at how it's going for the year. For me, the, the blocks I'm keeping for myself, which are these ones up here on the board, I've kept the same light fabric consistent. So I have the white, the focus, and the light, and I'm switching up my dark, and if we have a third or fourth fabric, those are different. Now Shelly's, right. it's different. <clears throat> she she kept her dark, her focus, her white, and her dark the same. Right. And that's because... Because I am using fat quarters, and one fat quarter is not quite enough for just, for the light. Yeah, so, so it, it works. Either way, so mm -hmm. if you if you have yardage and want to do it with yes a, a lot, or if you want to work with fat quarters, it, it's very versatile. Right. All right. So we will see you back here next month with our second half square triangle block, which will be similarly made, different fabrics. yes, different fabrics, different different, different uh, arrangement of fabrics. Yes. yes. Okay.